friends, so if you're already applying to Capit or if you're about to start your application process and need a couple of helpful tips and tricks, this video is just for you. We're going to talk about the dent pin as well, so if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so today we're going to talk about how to create your dent pin and then how to open up your Capit account. It's an easy process. We will start with creating a dent pin and later on how to open up your Capit account. And we need both of those to send off our applications to American dental schools. So the dent pin is your dental personal identification number, okay? It's like a, a social security number, just, you know, related to dentistry. And it will be needed for dental exams, for education, for training. Um, all of your achievements here in the United States will be linked to that dent pin. You will need it later on when you're taking your board exams and all that fun stuff. So all your official test results later on will be sent from DentPin to Capit and then from Capit to the schools. Later on, we will talk about Capit. Capit is Centralized Application for Advanced Placements for International Dentists. Yes. Capit sounds way better. Anyway, this is where you will upload all your important information, your diploma, your, basically your life's history, okay, goes in there. It will serve as a platform from where you can send off your applications to schools later on. So you just have to fill out Capit and share all your information with every single school. You know, it's just great because you have to fill all of that stuff out once and then it gets sent to every school or to the schools that you apply to. It makes the application process a little bit easier. Capit is only for a DDS and DMD programs. For specialty programs, like endodontics or orthodontics, whatever, is um, a different platform. You use PASS, P-A-S-S, -S, for that. And it's similar to Capit. Um, you also have to upload all your information. Later on, you'll be able to send out your applications from PASS to the dental schools. So I will keep looking down on my laptop just so you know. Uh, we'll be going through the dent pin creation together. So we type in dent pin and it's this one. So we click on the American Dental Association and dent pin is linked with the American Dental Association. Then we try to sign in. Obviously, we want to register. Okay, and there we just fill out all our of our personal information, uh, name, address, email address, stuff like that. And then we also have to, you know, um, talk a bit about our um, dental program here in the bottom. Um, you can type in all the stuff that you have accomplished so far, and then you just sign up. Easy peasy. On that DentPen website, you'll be able to see your INBDE results if you passed or have not passed. That will be very important later on. Next, we'll talk about how to create our Capit account. We just go onto this website and we create an account. We have to, again, type in our name, our address, email address, just the email address, and create a password, we agree to all the terms and conditions as always, and then we have to say if we live in the European Union currently or not. All right, so we created our account and we end up on this side right here. That's just a basic application page and we start with our personal information on the top left corner. And first is just an agreement statement. You have to read all of that. It's just some basic information. You have to approve all of that and agree to every to all the terms. And you save and continue. Next, you go to biographic information. And here you have to type in your name, what you would like to be called, your um, gender, and 
some information about your birthday and where you were born. Next we go to contact information, type in our address, if we live here in the, UN, in, in the United States or if we live somewhere else, we type all of that in and our phone number again. Then to citizenship information, we type in if we have a green card or not. Some schools do offer student visas. So you can type in your citizenship status if you currently live in the US or not, if you are a um, legal resident or not and all the information regarding your residency. And it might seem that you have less chances to get accepted if you don't live in the US, but don't get discouraged by that at all because I've heard a bunch of success stories from students that got student visas and were able to study here without even being resident of the United States. So everything is possible, okay? Next we go to race and ethnicity. We type in what race we have. Then other information. Here, finally, you type in your dent pin that we just created. And as I said, all your information, all your dental related information will be shared with Cabin through that dent pin. So that's very important to share it right here. And then we can enter what languages we speak and um, if we ever had issues in dentistry if we ever lost our license in our home country or somewhere else and if we have relatives that practice dentistry. We continue by going back to the main page and next we will click academic history. You start by colleges attended and we at the university that we graduated from or if you had multiple colleges you type them in here. Next is the dental school details. So you type in all the information details about, um, you know, what the program really looked like, if it was held in English and what kind of degree you earned, stuff like that. And how many years you um, were in school and if you had like rotations afterwards. You can also type in some additional information if you want to explain something further down here. At previous applications and attendance, you can type in if you've already applied previously, if you've already tried. And um, you can also say if you attended any other professional programs in the US. At ADA standardized tests, we can pick INBDE and we can say if we have already passed it or if we're still going to attempt to take it, stuff like that. So then the last one is the standardized tests and this is the TOEFL, which I've already made a video about. When you order your TOEFL or when you're about to take your TOEFL, you definitely got to type in this number B451. This code is just important for the TOEFL people to send their, your results to Capit so that Capit receives your results to see if you passed or not and how well you passed. Next, we'll go to supporting information and then to evaluations. This is very important. Here you will um, insert the evaluators, meaning the people that um, wrote letters of reference for you or recommendation letters, whatever you want to call it. It's very important to have uh, three recommendation letters. One should be from the dean of your school. The other one should be from someone maybe who's working at the faculty. Um, someone who knows you for a couple of years and have seen how you worked in school. And the third one should be from a dentist that you worked with or someone who supervised you. Also, which would be of benefit is someone in the US, like an American dentist who supervised you or who you worked for as um, an assistant or hygienist, whatever you have done here. You can create a evaluation request. The way it works is you type in the person's name, email address, phone, um, telephone number, and then they'll receive a evaluation request in their email. They have to submit their letter. So they have to click that link and upload their letter onto the website. So you can't upload the letters yourself and you gotta do this for um, every, every one of them. So next you'll go to experiences 
And here you can add all your experience that you have made in your home country and um, here in the United States. So you just type in what exactly it was, if it was dental related, if you were employed, if it was volunteering, if it was a um, mandatory rotation in university, whatever it is, you type in the name of the organization or of your school, the address, then the person who was supervising you or your teacher, and then, um, you know, you type in the estimated amount of how long you have been doing all of that, and they kind of calculate the total amount of hours that you have um, done that volunteering or work whatever it was then you got to write down what your title was meaning if you were a student a dental assistant then the type of recognition just means if you were paid or not hours that you had and they will calculate the total amount and here in the bottom you will just write down the responsibilities that you had the tasks that you had it's very important to click that you release authorization that just means that you allow the CAPIT people or the dental schools to contact contact that person who was supervising you. Then your licenses, here you can upload your dental license from your home country, then some other relevant information, you don't really have to, but you can, you know, type in some stuff that uh, you might want to tell the admission offices. Then we go to personal statement, that's the best part of it all, trust me, not really, it's, uh, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I think I changed my personal statement like 10 times. I've been working on that like on and off for like a while, for a good month or so. It still has to be quite short, um, it only is supposed to have 5200 letters. It's not a long essay in any means. Good, and last thing is documents. Here you can just add a copy of your diploma. Lastly, I'm gonna show you guys uh, program materials. So that's basically where you will add your programs, your dental programs. So here are all the dental schools listed that participate in CAPIT. And you can pick those. Um, you can just click on their name and kind of see the requirements or when the start year is, what um, degree they offer, like if it's a DMD or um, DDS, and you know, all that stuff. Also here, TOEFL, for example, they want a minimum score of 90. There are also other schools that want more, but you'll find all of that interesting stuff when you click on them. And then you can, uh, you can add those schools, and then you'll see here on the uh, program selection, you can see how much you have to pay first of all, and you see that I didn't upload all the all the important documents yet, so here, so um, I later on have to add a couple documents. Some schools want extra documents to be added, so here in pro, uh, program materials, I can click on that again, and um, usually a school would say, so there I can add some materials if they ask for extra evaluations or if they ask for extra if they ask for extra documents you will find it right there at check status you will see the programs that you selected and you will see if you are um, in progress of applying, you're, you haven't sent it yet, so it's still red. If you have sent it, it will turn green. And you can uh, download your application and see how your application actually looks like, how the schools will receive your application. So that's basically it, guys. It's pretty much straightforward. If you have some questions regarding your CAPIT application, definitely let me know. Yeah, just make sure that you go through your application multiple times, just to make sure you don't have any spelling errors or that you really typed in all the dates and information correctly. So also, by the way, this amount that you guys saw, the $264, that's just the first school that you're going to apply to. It's going to be a little bit more expensive. And then every other school that you apply to afterwards is going to be 115 Okay, so um, it's definitely a pricey process. Some schools or almost every school wants a supplement application afterwards so this is just the application that is just specifically to that one school and then they also have a fee which is attached to that which can be from a hundred to or even like from fifty 
to like 200 300 dollars just so that you guys are prepared for the expenses all right so that's it next i'll record a video about the ece and how um to request your ece evaluation and i guess i'll see you next time guys good luck with your capit application and as i said let me know if you have questions okay bye till next time <laughs>